Stoicism. Male stoicism is positive in certain scenarios. It can be negative in others. We can come across as unempathetic or not care because we're stoic. I mean, I know but in people, certain situations, it benefits I know us. people who've told me that their kids are in their late teens. They're at schools where the name Andrew Tate is banned. Nobody's allowed to mention your name because sure. the teachers think that your brand of masculinity is so toxic, they are seeing a immediate effect on the way that young men behave and not in a good way. Is that what the teachers think, is it? Yeah. Well, I am actually genuinely concerned by the fact that I've been banned from schools when I do nothing but preach masculine strength and excellence. But then if you actually understand how the society is going and how the world works and all the insanity they're trying to push on all of us, I can understand why they banned me because I speak the truth. If I was wearing a wig, Piers, mm. and lipstick, and telling young boys to remove their genitals, would I have been banned from schools? No. They would have said, no, you can say his name, no problem. No matter how big I got, if I had a wig on and lipstick, and I had been castrated medically, I would be allowed to talk to the young boys. But as soon as I say, you're supposed to grow up and get big and strong, and if your wife doesn't want a job, you need to pay for her, it's your job as a man, you better find some money, then I'm the public enemy number one. Garbage. On that last point, you don't say if a woman doesn't want to work, a man should take care of it. You say a woman shouldn't work. I say my woman won't work. Right. I'm talking about my personal experience. I said any girlfriend of mine, because I'm in an extremely fortunate financial position. I was before Romania took everything, of course. I have hundreds of millions of dollars. So because I am in my position, I would not my, want my woman to work. I think there's more important things she can do. If you have hundreds money. of millions of dollars, where you said you had a worth of 17 million. Where's no, I the, said they took 17 million. Years. So where's the rest? Uh, they must have taken it. I think they have it. Or maybe I lost it. I think I lost it somewhere. No, you, you, you've never had hundreds of millions of dollars. Of course not. You haven't, have you? Of course not. They, you said they took all your assets. Exactly. Well, did they or didn't they? Of course, they took everything. I mean, they'll be watching this. Are they to assume that there are hundreds of millions more dollars they haven't got yet? No, they're they watching go this. That's right. They took absolutely everything. You have it all. Right. But again, is that all just the smoke and mirrors? Is that all just the, the top G stuff that you play up to, which is that has no bearing on reality? I was the most Googled man of on the planet. I was the most relevant man mm. amongst 18 to 35 year old males, which are the highest earning and spending people on the planet. Mm. Do you really think that I am not, I can't pay my bills, Pierce? Right now, yeah. Okay. Someone's paying them for you. Correct, you're right. Someone's paying them for me, you're right. My girl's got a job, she works at Starbucks. Mm. Exclusive, Andrew Tate's girl, top cheese girl works in Starbucks to pay the rent. I've been exposed. See again, I don't know what to believe when you say stuff like that. Well, I'm telling you, my friend, that the Romanian state... I think you deployed of, deliberate smoke and mirrors because you think it plays up to the brand. Romanian state have taken all of my money and I'm just, you know, getting by. Mm -hmm.